welcome to another episode of conversations ladies and gentlemen with express drives and like we keep uh, interacting with industry captains from the automotive sector today we have uh, mr manohar bhat with us who is uh, in charge of uh, sales and marketing for kia motors india and uh, like we are all facing the covid situation right now so there's a lot that we'll talk to him about so let's get the conversation rolling thank you mr but uh, for joining us today thank you for sparing time welcome to the show thank you akut my pleasure well uh, i'm sure you would have expected uh, the first few questions would be uh, around the covid pandemic that we all are facing now of course the covid pandemic has hit the automotive sector in a very negative manner but kia being one of the newest entrants in the indian automotive market has the hit been uh, much uh, harder for kia to absorb as it because it was just you had started operations you started doing well is it been a harder hit for kia uh, i would say yes and no no because we are young as a company my dealers also are young in that term in the terms that they are just started off their business so in that case we are more i believe more flexible in thought in action so we can uh, make changes required changes more quickly than maybe a uh, established old manufacturer has been around for years and years so to that extent i think we are in a better position because we are new but having said that the 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 flip side is yes we are just started out so we are not our dealers or we also we have got our, we have just started our business so a question of profitability and all that will be more uh, or serious for us for our dealers than someone else has got some buffer some uh, earlier profits and earlier revenue to have banked upon so to that extent yes it's slightly worse but overall i think we take it as it comes this is not something that uh, it's sort of once in a lifetime once in a century event so hopefully we will get through it in a very good manner we hope let's see right now one of the biggest concerns for a lot of people especially uh, a lot of uh, enthusiasts and potential buyers is that will this current pandemic crisis uh, affect the launch of new models especially uh, something like sonnet which people are really looking forward to so do you see uh, new model launches being affected was the short answer absolutely not see uh, right. fact of the matter is in when we launched the seltos i had uh, i had many such uh, many people asking me similar questions are you sure you're launching it in the correct time the industry is going down so that time i had given them an answer which i believe is still holds good today what i told them is there is no bad time to launch a extremely good product we had a right. extremely good product we had a very 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 good product so there is no bad time to launch it in. so similarly we we think the same thing is true for the sonnet a uh, sub 4 uh, meter suv also so we will is excellent vehicle it will be a class leader in terms of design features and obviously our quality also so we right. have we are sticking to our earlier commitment of launching a vehicle every 6 months so 6 months after the last launch was in uh, february so february, february march actually so 6 months down the line that is in september october is when you can expect our next week so this we are uh, committed to this uh, schedule is uh, we are committed to keeping so come the festival season you will have a sonnet also being launched for sure so all our okay. partners everyone is uh, geared up towards uh, this uh, in big event so we look forward to it actually i think customers also have a lot of things to look forward to the new sonnet and uh, beyond this uh, the way the crisis has hit us and considering the fact that this will stay with us for a few months so uh, there has been a change in uh, buyer behavior now what has kia done in order to ensure that customers feel confident approaching the showroom or uh, the company staff or asking for a test drive or uh, jumping into the buying process so what has been um, the process here and if you could also throw some light on the kia care program thank you see uh, i will uh, first jump forward or should i say jump backwards when we launched the seltos at that time i think we were the first manufacturer in the country to have a fully online sales process available for the customer fully online as in he can obviously make enquiries he can book a vehicle but then going forward he can also choose a particular car and then have it financed online 
without having to move out from our website can finance it and obviously then we would retain the vehicle to him and deliver it to him without him having to come to the showroom physically this online customer journey was already made available at the time of the launch of the centro so this like i said is the first time in the industry i believe is the first then and this holds us in good stead in these times also when a few customers would be i think worry of even entering a showroom okay now having said that we have ensured that if a customer when a customer does come to our showroom or workshop so he is he can be sure that is 100% safe we are taken care of our employees and obviously then of our customers also in a very very uh, thorough manner as far as test drive is concerned he, he if in case he books a test drive and uh, then he can either we can send the vehicle to him or he can come to the showroom when he comes to the showroom he'll find a vehicle that is fully sanitized in and out and also once he uh, uh, he finishes his test and gives us feedback then again the vehicle is fully sanitized once again obviously we have temperature checks your sanitization process for the entire showroom and all the vehicles inside as well as the test drive vehicle also so having said that i can uh, uh, i can give more confidence to the customer by saying that our, in our workshop i think uh, the number of customers that we have started getting back is equal to what was that before the covid the pandemic hit us also So to that extent, customers are coming. They are experiencing our Kia care, the steps that we are taking, and I think they are fairly comfortable with it. Which is why we are seeing numbers coming back to us. Uh, Mr. Hart, you earlier mentioned that uh, with the Celtos, you were one of the first ones to come up with a fully online uh, booking uh, platform for consumers. So, especially with the current scenario, uh, what kind of uh, numbers or what kind of interest are you seeing on the uh, digital front? and uh, what kind of numbers do you expect in the coming months as people move towards digital platforms see i have a certain uh, innate faith in the mm, in, you know in human beings behavior not changing very quickly and very drastically it is normally is a trend so same thing in the digital uh, adoption of a totally digital way of uh, purchasing a vehicle so i believe a car is still a very high involvement and also high investment uh, decision for the customer so right. normally most customers would still like to touch and feel what they are going to be buying see it and okay say okay i want this or okay check it out very thoroughly before actually purchasing it so we are still seeing a very small minority of customers who are adopting the fully digital journey having said that i think i believe that there will still be a lot of customers who use this partly maybe they will use the online financing option and then finally come and check out the vehicle or they check out the vehicle and then use the financing option get that delivered to their doorstep uh, so this is yes it is uh, we are seeing a lot of i mean the adoption is increasing day by day but this becoming the norm i think is still a uh, far uh, i mean uh, we are still it'll take a lot of time for that to be uh, uh, in the majority form of uh, a purchase sort of a, it might be true for a lower end consumer durable but still i think for a high involvement durable it still takes some time but like okay. i said a lot of customers are using parts of it in a much more uh, what do you call it uh, lots more uh, customers are being are taking up this option uh, would you have any kind of numbers as of as of now right now like how many people have registered on your platform or how many people or what kind of sales conversions do you have there uh see uh, in numbers wise i can uh, uh, i can give you a certain idea of how many i mean uh, if you are interested in how many people are uh, going in for the fully online uh, digital journey yes uh, say it's almost about uh, 100 a month is what we were seeing earlier which is i think a very good deal but this does not include the people who are only taking part of the uh, uh, journey digitally online and then coming to the uh, your uh, brick store for the rest of it and then again going back for the digital journey so i'm just talking on the overall like end to end totally digital journey a couple yes. of uh, uh, around 100 or something is what i think we are last seeing then like i said it is increasing month on month mr but uh, recently uh, the government came up with a slew of announcements wherein they claim that uh, they'll their their packages will benefit the industry so what is your view on the uh, 
packages announced by the government in respect to uh, the automotive industry? I think government has done a lot of uh, uh, good things in terms of increasing the liquidity available in the economy to the banks, etc. But then unfortunately, the demand side of it is still not being seen. Uh, 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 activities to increase the demand, for example, because MSMEs and all that have been, it's a very good thing that the government has done in uh, in protecting and encouraging MSMEs to further their uh, activities. But unfortunately, look at it like this, MSMEs also will be low to actually start their uh, 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 business in a big way unless they see demand coming in. This demand, frankly, we are not seeing any demand coming in. Because I believe that the customer is still, the, the customer who finally pays up, he is not feeling uh, uh, safe enough or rich enough to actually go and splurge or buy something. So in uh, Siam's opinion, I think we had a discussion uh, internally among Siam members also. So initially we had recommended, I think, uh, GST reduction. We said a short term GST reduction, maybe a couple of months itself, or a two or three month a limited period scheme would really work wonders. But then the government, I believe in his wisdom, is unable to uh, provide for any GST cut. So then we have, uh, I think we would also like to recommend in that case that maybe we can, uh, the government can look in something like a tax break for individuals who purchase cars, like they give for the uh, corporates. So for a customer also, if I buy a vehicle, obviously it is good with me for five years or 10 years. So there's some depreciation for me also and it's a productive tool for me. So why can't we give a tax break to the customer, something like the depreciation for the corporate for a person okay. who buys a car? Or for that matter, like a home loan is given tax breaks. So can we give auto loans also tax break? So these are some things. And of course, the, the scrap it policy that the government has talked about for, I think, a couple of years now, if they can implement it early, it will be of great benefit, I think, to the customer and to the industry overall, I think. Uh, and I think government should seriously look at the auto industry because it's a huge employment generator. And currently, the way things are, people are working at one shift. The dealers also are not being able to employ all their staff. They're laying off people. So it's a big pain point for all the employees also, everyone down the line. So government will, I think, be very wise to be sort of pushing uh, some further steps to further demand overall in the economy and also the auto industry. We believe that what comes into one industry will obviously go to other industries also. So it's a win-win cycle for everyone. I think the quicker the government does something on this front, the better it is for the overall economy also. And uh, one one question that uh, all of us, I mean, whether it be me or a Kia enthusiast, uh, what, apart from the Sonnet, uh, what more new models can we expect in the near future or maybe any new segments that Kia is planning to enter? See, the Sonnet, we believe, is going to be the next big thing for the simple reason that it is, first of all, the exterior is drop dead gorgeous. It has got rave reviews when we exhibited it in the Auto Expo. And to add to that, the interiors and the technology also are going to have many segment first. For example, just to whet your appetite, it is going to have a clutchless manual gear system, which no other vehicle today has got. So it's going to be very interesting, very convenient for the customers, fuel efficiency. You, you like gears, well, you have the gears, but you don't have to, have to uh, strain your leg of feet by pressing clutches. So as simple as that. It's a very practical and a very good one, among other things. Among other things being the features inside. You are, uh, well, I, I think I should not be really spoiling the surprises, but it has a lot of segment first features inside. So I think customer can really look forward to that. Added to that, the quality that people have already experienced in the Seltos and in the Carnival, and it's being spoken of by customers who owned it. So this is going to be the third pillar for which I think the Sonnet is going to be a very, very tough competitor for other vehicles in this segment. Now, I can come to that, okay, then next what? So, okay, pre-pandemic, we had a variety of ideas. And of course, uh, during this time, we also we have uh, the Telluride, which is won the W Coty, the World Car of the Year Award and also the Soul EV, which has been the urban, uh, 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 has been awarded as urban car, uh, car of the year. So we got many features and many products in our international portfolio, which I'm sure the Indian customer would love to see. So my, I mean, frankly, I'm not saying that we'll introduce this immediately, but my personal favorite is the Telluride, which I think is a very, I mean, it's like a fantastic vehicle. It's like 
the personality the vehicle goes very well with the uh, a kia uh, brand image that is there in india and let's see we got many ideas many uh, uh, some but we would rather wait and watch check out what is the customer behavior the customer demand that comes out once this pandemic i mean starts uh, uh, tapering off and then take a call on this like i said times have changed pretty much so let's see what the future holds in terms of customer uh, uh, demand and then take a call on this and uh, mr but i'm sure uh, after your previous answer uh, viewers would instantly want to know a little bit more about uh, the clutch the gearless system you spoke about the uh, sonnet so can you maybe shed a little more light on how it will be different and what it will offer because you said it's going to be one of its kind it's, uh, it's a bit different unless experience it is a bit difficult to uh, explain it in words but let me put it extremely simply imagine a system in which you have the manual gear as it is you have a, a gear stick and you like uh, engaging gears so you have it there but then to engage the gear you normally have to press the clutch so imagine that the clutch is not there so your left foot can rest in peace on the floor of the of the vehicle without having to press uh, a clutch every now and then there's no clutch to press only you go to the first gear second gear or whatever as you normally do so to that extent in heavy traffic no foot stress at all no leg stress at all you only change gears so you have you enjoy driving uh, uh, engaging gears yeah, you have still have that enjoyment you have a very high fuel efficiency and we remove the stress from the entire uh, action so this in just what this technology is all about like what the, we are seeing with the amts with the amt gearbox no 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 this is different this amt is a very uh, see it is uh, it does not have that you don't have that enjoyment of shifting gears see normally i am a i am a drive enthusiast so i enjoy driving i don't like uh, your at actually automatic is not my cup of tea i like a geared vehicle when i drive and the enjoyment is more in that i change the gear when i drive and it's like you control the vehicle much better so the control is still there but then the stress of engaging the clutch pressing the clutch is not there so it's i think the best of both worlds the pleasure of driving is there using a gear but the stress is not there okay plus the like your attendant uh, advantages of fuel efficiency being higher and all that so that will obviously be there one last question before we uh, wind off uh, mr bhat after all uh, the crisis that uh, the industry is going through from kia's perspective uh, what is your expectation in terms of year and uh, may the change in numbers um how do you see the year ending for kia and uh, do you see things improving possibly by a festival season or is that too much to expect i think earlier i told you that my crystal ball is not uh, is, is not a very good one is pretty cloudy possibly it require a nostradamus to answer your question in a very uh, good manner here but having said that yes see uh, like i said earlier we were at zero in april so anything will be an improvement on that so yes but having said that the festival season should definitely see a revival in customer sentiments and customer demand we always seen that and i think this year also should be no different unless there is some other extremely unforeseen circumstance happening is a doubt so i i believe that yes come the festival season we should see some uh, some revival of the customer demand customer sentiment we see better sales as a how much number well you have me on that like i said my i give up my crystal ball has given up so there is no figure that one can give as of now it's very very difficult especially uh, also not knowing what exactly the government what it, what further it can do or it will do a bit difficult answer that but in any case should be, we should be a better position if we in a much happier position both uh, the economy the customers and us by the festival season hopefully thank you so much for your time mr bhat uh, it's been uh, great talking to you and you have given us some wonderful insights into what uh, people and can expect from kia and expect from the automotive sector in the coming few months so thank you so much for your time thank you arpit thank you very much